Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm going to work on installing a Stealth Burner Clockwork 2 on my Ender 3 Max Neo. So let's go ahead and get started. I need to start off by saying that finding a good mount for the Stealth Burner, particularly if I want to reuse the CR Touch, has turned into a great big problem. Um, I've gone through several iterations now, tried several different models, nothing appears to work all that well. So with that being said, what I've done is designed my own mount. Let me switch over and show you that. So you can see my desk is a mess because I have, again, multiple revisions I have. Here is the, I'm sorry, here's the, <laughs> I even held the wrong re revision. So here's the most current revision. Uh, this is supposed to fit the nine size linear rail. I've printed an adapter for nine to 12, so that should fit. Mount this on the rail and then mount this. The CR touch is actually screwed in here. On one of my other models I tried, it was a fit in place. Unfortunately, when I did any mods to the fit in place, it would no longer fit in place. Like I said, I have multiple parts around. So what I'm gonna to try to do is mount this. I've done another video about putting on the linear rail. I'm hoping the CR touch here works, that it's low enough, it should be, uh, based on, on how I remix this, but at this point, I'm no longer sure. So I'm just gonna do the best I can. So let me go ahead and mount this on the printer and we can see what that looks like. So I've switched over to my printer and I'm gonna mount my mounting plate right here, and this will hold up the hot end. So sit on top of this. So let's go ahead and put this in. So let me screw this in, and then I'll come back in a minute. So as you can see, I have the adapter plate on, and this is gonna slip over top. And it actually sits flush. So I'm not losing any space. Now I've lined it up where I can see the holes for the heat of inserts, or the thread of inserts, I'm sorry. Now let's see if we can, I don't wanna buckle this down too tight because I've already messed up the thread of inserts at once where I ripped them out. And I actually changed how I'm printing this particular piece. Got that pretty tight, that's looking good. And let me finish screwing this in and then I'll be right back. Now, since I have this mounted, I need to go ahead and let's get the belts in. And I did dismount the, take the mount off so I could just move things around a little bit. And I'm just gonna screw that back in. Yeah, this is not bad. This is, Looking actually all right. I might make the holes a little bit bigger down here. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is loosen the belt tightener so that way I could pull any excess through here. And let me go ahead and screw this back in and then I'll tighten everything up. So I have that tight. Now let me put in a little belt clips right here and I'll screw those in and that way belt hopefully will be secure and won't move and then I should be able to tighten the belt tightener over here and get this the way I want it. Let me do this off camera and I'll be right back. So I have one last step to finish this install. I've put the belt in and I have the belt clip holding it so this is all looking good. I have it tightened and that all feels correct. Now what I'm going to do is clip belt. I'm going to leave a little slack just in case I have to move something in the future. But this should be good. So there we go. I have the belts all fixed in there. Right now, what I need to do is here's the stepper motor for X and the end stop was actually too close to the rail here. So this wouldn't have activated with the stealth burner. So I found this piece online and I'm going to include it with my remix. 
So I found this piece, which is a little bit taller. If you look at these side by side, this will actually move the end stop out. So I've removed the end stop. And I'm just going to screw this in here, get this all situated, and we'll install that on the printer. And then we'll continue with the stealth burner install. So give me a second while I screw this in, into my new piece, and then I'll be right back. So as you can see, I have the end stop in. So that's looking good. It might be a little difficult to get to this plug in here. So since I'm already remixing parts, I may remix this to get rid of this uh, little whip here. In fact, I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to leave this as is, but I'll get rid of this whip in my next model. And that way, it's a little bit better. And it's easier to get to the plug in, in here. Because as you can see, it's sort of blocked. Let me fix that. And let's install this in the printer in the meantime. Continue to our next steps. So I've switched over to my printer. And let's do have screws just holding the motor on here. Get rid of those. And I just did this temporary measure because I needed the be able to put the belt on here. Of course, I'm dropping the screws, but that's okay. Now, so what I'm going to do is let's loosen the belt up. So I had too much tension, it was actually moving the motor on me. Now, what I need to do is here's the old. Here's the new motor mount, making my screws. And of course, I dropped one. Let me push these screws through. Something I need to check is make sure these screws actually go all the way through. I have my M340, so I'll probably use those. And let me screw this. Let me get the screw started, and then I'll come back. Okay, so I have the end stop mounted. That appears to be pretty tight. I'm going to take the belt thingy off here, and that is activating the end stop. So that is good. That's Mike from Minimal 3DP. I'm just showing you my stealth burner mount for my Ender 3 Max Neo. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Thanks. Have a good day. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15 minute help session with me, and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day.